circle of people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we were just sitting on the porch, uh, myself and a couple of people sitting in satsang. Um, and there was conversation, um, and you were bringing up some points, and one of the starting points was that the, the teacher's job is to um, break the hold, you know, for the practitioner, to, uh, to allow them to cut through, right, to allow them to, uh, you were talking in terms of maybe uptightness or like constriction, contraction that uh, people have or practitioners have. And or you mean to stop choking themselves? Mm. No. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, like taking, taking the self-strangulation fingers off one's neck. <laughs> you can stop doing that. You know, relax. Let me help you. Put your hands down. Right. Right. Strong grip, by the way. But your your neck is not going to be needing all that squeezing right now. Self choking. All right. Comment. Mm. Yeah, sure. mm. Yeah, and you were you were discussing, you were talking about how a lot of uh, or most people aren't even aware that they're doing that to themselves, right? So unless you have somebody there to to bring you out of it or to uh, you know wake you up, so to speak, that you're just you're just uh, yeah going through you know normal self programs, which is usually mm. to be. Uh, you know, not to be open, to more con contract, right? to be more constricted. To be controlled by the river of blood, mm -hmm. to put it in terms. Mm -hmm. uh, that is true. See? And we're talking about beginners. We're not talking about you know, uh, advanced people. We're about the beginning stages of, uh, let's say, spiritual practice dealing with self-inspection, uh, where you're checking yourself, trying to open yourself more to what is, not just to a teacher. A teacher is serving a very small, small purpose compared to what you as an individual have to deal with. The teacher is just passing by and reminding them, don't forget, <laughs> stop choking yourself. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> open up. Say, open your perceptics. Open your mind, your brain, your, your, your subtle bodies. Open them to where you are, what you're doing, and maybe what you need, see, what you really need. See, yeah. more, more spiritual or psychic or creative data. We need more receptivity to that. So if you're strangling yourself, that's not going to serve that purpose. Or if you're letting someone else, your other, strangle you, of course, same thing. Right? Choking off your channels. Right. Come in. Yeah, so then... Um, and that especially happens in family, but everybody's doing it in, in a good way, a nice way. Mm. Shut up! What do you mean? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> right? Nah, nah, nah. What kind of statement is that? I am, you know, nah, nah. I'm working... <laughs> and so on. So, Got to peel that back you know, and, and see what people really need instead of arguing and going up against one another or against yourself. What do you need? What, what do we need? We need some space. See, and this is what practice uh, makes a person more responsible for it. Inner space, creative space, psychic space, open heart space, self-healing space, and then creative space, of course. 